Well, hey guys, welcome back for the uh, removal video. So, um, if you watched my last video, you watched me um, apply this Mineral Bond uh, manicure system, um, and then you saw the wear test over the course of a week, which honestly, um, I know it, it wasn't perfect, you know, that I did have some peeling in uh, mostly on the sides of a few nails. And I did have a, a slight amount of wearing at the tips, which for me, for a manicure is actually really great because nail polish doesn't last any time at all on my natural nails. It's very unusual for a manicure to look this good and last this long uh, for this period of time. Um, so I did purchase the extra uh, with this kit. I did purchase the express remover um, to make this process a little bit easier. Um, so to recap what comes in the manicure kit, uh, so you get a base coat and a top coat, some two mixing pots so that you can custom blend your own colors if that's what you so choose. You get a double-sided sponge tip applicator and you get three pots of color, the UV light with a cord to plug it into a USB charger. Um, and I purchased extra uh, for a little bit extra for, at a discounted price, an extra pot of color as well as the express remover. So that's what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna see how well this works at removing this polish because um, I can tell you, even though I did have where, you know, big chunks came off on the sides, once it, it chipped off where it was loose and not really adhered well to the nail, and I really think that was my error in the application of the top coat, but once it chipped off of those places it was loose, it didn't continue chipping, which is pretty, pretty spectacular that's pretty unusual and I found that I had a good results because normally where my manicure starts looking really bad is at the tips and I'm sure that's most people um, the polish starts chipping really badly on the tips and you can see even though we do have the issues of the chipping on the sides just to look at my hands it's not something you really notice immediately so I'm really pleased um, this this kit honestly was not cheap but um for the way this manicure is lasting, I'm I'm pretty happy about it. I have never had a manicure do this well on my natural nails. That's what I'm saying. So let's get into the directions on how to remove the polish using this express remover. I know there's some directions in here. Um, but yeah, if you saw my last video, I think part of the issue I had with the chipping on the side was um, I didn't necessarily follow the correct directions because you can see... In the direction book, it says uh, classic powders, how to apply classic powders. And it does tell you, if you're not really sure which powder is classic, which one's glitter, holographic, or whatsoever, it does say on the bottom of the pot, I'm trying to get it where you can see the glitter, holographic range. And I think I have one that's classic, yeah. And this one says classic. So that clues you in as into how you need to apply it. This one is metallic. And this one is also holographic. This is the one I have on now, the rose gold. I think I'm going to do uh, the pink shatter next. I don't honestly think it's going to be that different than the rose gold. Maybe a little darker in color. But yeah, that is, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I think I'm going to try that one next. But let's get on to removing this pol this this application. <laughs> so anyway, as I was showing you, so it tells you at the top how to apply each type of powder. So it can be very specific. So the classic requires one type of application, and the holographic and the metallic require a different application. And I think that's what I did wrong. Um, when I applied this one, and if you would like to see that application, I'll link that video below. But I just kind of dipped the the applicator into the pot and then kind of tapped it off in the lid and then just dabbed it on. But it actually said to rub it on back and forth and then reapply. And that was one of my complaints with this application is in sunlight, you can really see through the polish. It's not as opaque as I would like it to be. I would have preferred a more opaque um application so when i do the the pink shatter color 
I'm going to follow this direction and kind of really buff it in and then reapply for a more opaque application. So this is how to remove, use the express remover. Uh, gently buff the surface of your application and remove the top coat. Wash nails with soapy water and dry thoroughly. Apply the express remover, taking care to avoid skin. Wait two to three minutes until coat has lifted. Use a three-in-one tool. I don't have the tool they're referring to, so I'm just going to use this manicure tool um, to gently push off the coating. Wipe away. Take your time. Repeat steps two to three if necessary. So I'm going to uh, just use a nail file and buff the top, uh, I guess, to scratch up the top coat so that this can penetrate. So I'm probably going to put you on fast forward for a lot of this. Because that could get quite boring. Okay, so like the direction stated, I'm going to go and wash my hands with soapy water, um, take care of all, or remove all of this dusty stuff, and then we'll come back and apply the express remover, and we'll see what happens. Be right back. Okay, so we're all clean, but I got to tell you, I really think that um, filing takes off most of the polish. I don't really see, I mean, there is something left for the remover to take off, but I really think the this did most of the work. And you got to be careful because that was kind of rough on my cuticles, so I'm definitely going to need to apply some cuticle oil or cuticle cream um, when I'm done with this. Uh, but let's go ahead and apply this. So it just says, uh, apply the express remover, taking care to avoid the skin. Wait two to three minutes. And then use your tool to push off the coating. So let's see. No real special instructions there except avoid the skin. So that tells me that's a fairly strong chemical. I got to tell you, when you are... Um, doing that buffing to remove that top coat, be careful because you don't want to get too aggressive. And then you start getting into damaging your natural nail. This stuff is surprising. I was ex don't know why I was expecting something kind of thin, almost like a nail polish, but this stuff's pretty thick. It has a strange feel to it. It uh, goes on kind of cool feeling. Do you see how thick that is? Let me... Uh... How thick the product is on the brush there. Comes out kind of like a gel. I 
don't know if you can pick up all that noise in the background. That is my husband. I didn't do too good a job avoiding the skin there, but that nail is kind of hard that on that finger because it's so small. some on my skin again wiping it off with my skin doesn't seem to make much sense but <laughs> I don't know what else you're supposed to do I guess I should have been a little more prepared huh for how to remove it if I got on my got it on my skin all right this stuff feels strange I don't know how to explain it it, it has kind of a drying sensation to it like, it feels like it's having a dry down on my nail. My nails. And almost a tightening sensation. It's kind of hard to describe it. It's a little strange. Now, I gotta tell you, and I'm seriously considering it that uh, for the next manicure, um, use to do this removal of the top coat um, using my rotary tool. I don't necessarily recommend that if you're not accustomed to handling a rotary tool because it can be a little bit aggressive. But I do have a variable speed one that I think will um, work for this. So we're just going to sit here and wait and see what happens. It said wait two to three minutes. Oh, look, I got some on my skin there. Okay, so I gave it the full time and I, I didn't see where it was really moving um, the remaining uh, product off that well. So I, I went ahead and just put a little bit thicker application of it on all nails and gave it a couple more minutes. So let's see where we at. I would recommend you don't use a tool like this and like really dig into your nail bed. I mean, you don't want to damage it. And it is taking it up. Not as cleanly as I'd like. It's probably going to take a couple applications. Oh, look, that a big chunk came off right there. Okay, well, maybe. Just working it a little bit. Again, I'd be careful. Don't dig into your nail bed. I mean, the whole idea of this nail polish system is that it's not as damaging to the nails as salon manicures and so far I would say that's true I did have to rough my nail up a little bit for the initial application uh, I can't it, it it is so strange the sensation that this gives it's a tightening sensation and it's odd okay so I do think this is going to take a second application but I do see where it is uh, removing the product
Okay, so there's just a couple of little spots where it didn't quite get all the product up. And I know it looked like I was being kind of rough on my nails, but it really was mostly um, just the product that I was kind of having to work a little harder at. Um, and it did leave my fingernails kind of rough. But again, I don't really think it's that my fingernails are that roughed up as much as it's still just some leftover product. So I'm going to try and, and reapply, but I'm going to be careful and not go put it too much on my natural nail because I have a feeling it would etch through and I really think that's kind of what this is is an etching cream of sorts it's what it makes me think of in its texture um and the way that it's working and the way that it looks the way that it feels I, I really think it's an etching cream of sorts so I can see why they tell you to be careful not to get it on your skin because that could cause basically a chemical burn that's so why I think it might be etching through my natural nail just a little bit. So I'm trying to be careful to only apply in the areas where it's still fairly thick. I'm going to give that just a minute and then push that last bit off and then I'm going to be done because I really think this product could be very damaging to the natural nail if you keep fooling with it too much. guys that did actually a pretty exceptionally good job of getting the product off you can see in some places I kind of went in with another fingernail to kind of scrape it off and it's just because I have a better feel like that than with that tool I can really feel like where there's still maybe a little chunk of product and honestly it didn't take much to work it off so I can honestly say this express remover does what it says it's going to do and it does it quite efficiently honestly um, didn't take as long as I expected. Two things I'm going to say um, about this product. Uh, well, maybe more than two, but let's just start with the, the top two. First off, be very careful. Um, follow the directions. That's going to be step two. Follow the directions because I have a feeling this could be very damaging to the skin and it could be very damaging to the nail if you um, don't use it according to the directions and if you leave it on too long and that would be tip number three do not leave this product on any longer than they tell you to because i can tell you um, after the second application where it did touch my skin in certain places i did start to feel a little bit of burning um and uh i do feel like my nails are just a little bit more roughed up than they were before not bad though honestly as compared to a salon manicure they're still not nearly as damaged um, as if I had gone to the salon and gotten a manicure uh, so it works it absolutely works it's worth uh, the extra money to go ahead and get this product to remove this manicure it made it very easy um, but again I really feel like this is an etching cream of some sort so I would say just use it with caution follow the directions um, and then like I'm fixing to do as soon as you're done uh, removing the manicure wash your hands really really well so that is what i'm going to do now 
Um, but anyway, so that is the removal process. Uh, that's all I have for you in this video. But if you would like to see the first um, time I use the product, I'm going to link that video below. And I am going to um, film my second application because I, I did realize in the first after the first application that I did get um, some of the directions a little wrong. So I would like to go back and redo the manicure and follow the directions a little more closely and see if I get a better result. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks so much for watching. You guys take care and be blessed. Bye now.